I did. Okay, folks, tower has uh, turned us loose. We'll go ahead and uh, get on our way. Fun. <laughs> I'd rather be on a magic car than we <laughs> <laughs> That is the largest hotel and casino we have. 5,005 rooms, 744 suites, and more ATMs in that one building than any other building in the world. You get the feeling they want you to do a little bit of game on over. in the afternoon and every 30 minutes until dark and every 15 minutes up until midnight. The Flamingo Health Master, Bugsy Siegel, the gangster, uh, made his claim to fame. He didn't bring gambling to Las Vegas, but he did bring the first big resort. Uh, so he's considered to be the grandfather of the big resort here in town. Mm -hmm. Bugsy Siegel? At what? Uh, Treasure Island. This is a location I think is the best free show. That's the Battle of Buccaneer Bay. That show starts at 4 o'clock in the afternoon runs every 90 minutes weather permitting. Uh, the Stardust Hotel, the sign out in front of the landmark, has been there since 1967. It's got over uh, 26,000 light bulbs, over 30 miles of uh, wire in that one sign alone. Coming up on the right hand side, the Hilton Hotel, that's uh, the home of the Star Trek experience. And the Star Trek fan, uh, to show you don't want to miss, uh, they spent over $70 million in that one show alone. Uh, they also have the largest penthouse suites in town, uh, one on each finger of the hotel. They range from 12,400 square feet all the way up to uh, 15,000 square feet. Um, Uh, they'll let you stay there for free, uh, of course they have a catch it's a million bucks you got a risk during the gambling stay and they'll give you a free room. <laughs> Stratosphere, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it when we come back down the strip. We're going to head up into the downtown and we give them a good wave as we go by. They're jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. I want to go on there. There's the roller coaster. I don't see that it. That red, uh, those three red lines up there? Oh. That's the track for the roller coaster. That's scary, Tara. You could go on that. The roller coaster is pretty tame. That big shot, the one that shoots up and down, that one will get your attention. As we make our way up into the downtown area here, uh, up here they have what's known as the Fremont Street Experience. It's a light show. It's 1,500 feet long, 100 feet tall. It has 2.1 million light bulbs in the display. Uh, the show is down here. Start after dark, we're every hour on the hour, right up until midnight. They also have some live bands and street vendors that will perform between those shows, so they'll keep there quite well entertained. And the best thing about it, it's all absolutely free, so you can't argue with that one too much. down the uh, strip once again. We'll be flying past the Stratosphere Hotel and Casino once again. And that is the tallest structure west of the Mississippi River. It's 1,149 feet tall. They've got two amusement park rides up on top. One's called the Big Shot. And she's jumping down that tower a few times. The other one's a roller coaster that goes around the top of the building. Uh, it is the highest roller coaster in the world. Highest above the ground. Uh, they also have a restaurant up there that rotates during dinner. The food's excellent. Uh, I do recommend it, but they do claim to uh, have the best view in town. I'm going to have to disagree with them on that one. I think you folks in where you are have the best view in Las Vegas. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Circus, the Circus Circus Hotel and Casino, the big pink glass structure behind the hotel is the Adventure Dome that houses the Grand Slam Canyon the Music Park. It's the largest totally enclosed and air-conditioned music park uh, in the world, over five acres in size. And the big dark square behind the old uh, Desert Inn Hotel is one of two golf courses along the Las Vegas Strip, and a very nice one at that. Treasure Island, this is uh, once again... Uh, at the Battle of Buckingham Bay, across the street from that is the uh, Venetian Hotel. They have the gondola boats that go through the shops inside of us and reproduce a lot of the Italian artwork and architecture of a very beautiful hotel. And the Mirage, they have their free show left here up in Volcano. That one starts after dark, and will be 15 minutes up until midnight. Coming up on the right hand side, the Rio Hotel, they got the best buffets in town, um, the seafood buffet and the carnival but they both of those are outstanding. The Palms Hotel, the newest hotel in Las Vegas, been open about five, six months now. Uh, Caesar's Palace uh, has the forum shops, so that's one of the nicer pools under this other tower building. Once again, Bellagio, across the street from Bellagio, the Paris Hotel, it's a half scale replica of the Eiffel Tower. The Aladdin, our newest hotel on the strip itself, uh, they have the desert passage shops uh, inside. And New York, New York Hotel and Casino, that's 12 skyscripts of similarly the Manhattan skyline, along with the Coney Island style roller coaster, 150 foot replica of the Statue of Liberty, and a 300 foot replica of the Brooklyn Bridge. And the uh, Luxor Hotel, the beam of light that shoots out the top, is the world's most powerful beam of light, 42 billion candle power. Special the pilots on a clear night claim they can see it from outer space. Uh, we'll punch a hole through it, doesn't last longer than 100 miles an hour, but I think you folks will get the idea. <laughs> It kind of goes something like this. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> that was so cool! Hey, Manly Bay, it's also the Four Seasons Hotel. Top few floors is the Four Seasons. The pool behind the hotel, the big one, can actually throw a wave you can body surf on. Makes for a real nice place to enjoy a little bit of time out by the pool. Gorgeous. As we make a final approach back into McCarran International, this is the seventh busiest uh, airport in the United States. Last year we handled about 42 million passengers. They'd like to increase it. And now they have about 125,000 hotel rooms to handle those folks. They'd like to get all the way up to 200,000. Yeah, well, that current any construction, you can bet that we're right on track for that one. Tim? Uh, yeah. Well, guys, welcome back. I'd like to thank you guys very much for selecting Mavic Helicopters. It's been my pleasure having you guys aboard. I hope you've enjoyed the service. Just give me a couple of minutes here. We'll get the aircraft shut down. I'll uh, walk you guys over to the terminal. I wish you guys a terrific evening again. Thanks so much for uh, coming out. My pleasure having you guys aboard.